Morning. We're in St Mary's Mill Lock and as you can see there, those imposing building behind is St Mary's Mill. Decorated nicely, isn't it? <laughs> We're currently on the lock landing, there's a boat coming up and there's Leicester City football ground. Yeah, those of you that watch the channel will know I'm not really into football but uh, yeah, I would imagine from here you'd hear the cheers or the tears one or the other. They're just draining the pound, there's a boat got to the lock before us so he's going to be coming up, coming up and uh, then we'll be going down and then I believe I'm pretty sure it's the straight mile after that we're now on the straight mile and the wind's getting up Morning! It's a smart looking old bridge, isn't it? Like a castle. And just here are the secure castle gardens moorings. We're carrying on today. This really does feel totally different. Totally different to the Shropshire Union this year now. <laughs> it's nice. Here are the other secure moorings, I think. Oh, look, a boat! As I was saying before, there are some talented graffiti artists out there. Look at that. Excellent. Yeah. Well, we're at another lock. Chugs is right down there, but look at these old street lights that they've got here. They're obviously original from some time or other, but beautiful, there's a couple of them. And uh, I've just seen another piece of graffiti. And I just want to quickly show you. 
I mean, the talent is unreal, really. Look at that. Very clever. There's the boys. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, for some reason, the two boats that are in the lock decided to come out together. Um, even though we're moored here, so John is having to use Estrella to gently nudge uh, one of the boats back, hopefully. Slow it down a bit, John. Oh, a bit bizarre, really. Steady. That's not going to work. Oh, thank goodness. We managed to free the boats. That took some doing. We were just on the phone to CRT. See if they had, I don't know, a tractor or something to pull one of the boats back. But we managed to get them out. Thank goodness. Well, all I can say is it was a good job I had hold of the rope and I was giving it pull in the rope. <laughs> it had nothing to do with John's huge muscles and a piece of three by two. No, couldn't have done it without me. No, no, no. a bad leaky lock gate here. Um, I think we've had our fill of leaky lock gates today. We've got three more locks to go, about an hour and a half, two hours trip uh, to Burstall, uh, and that's our target for the night. Uh, the time now is 25 past 11, so we're doing okay. Should be moored up for one o'clock, half one. That, at one time, would have been a very busy mill. Huge! There's some very sad remains of what was. Just the fascia walls there, remaining there. All the history and the stories it could tell. Well, there's hundreds and hundreds of uh, plastic bottles and horrible stuff floating in here. See a rat running along that wall. I don't know whether the camera is picking it up. <laughs> yeah, nice area this. Well, up to now we've seen very, very little rubbish in Leicester, but this little stretch just before this lock here is just full of rubbish. There's chairs, shopping trolleys, everything. Really? Yeah, not nice.
last lock of the day, Burstall Lock. I'm going to get through this one and then look for mooring. And it's taken a long time for us to fill and that's the reason why. A very leaky lock gate. Yeah, we've been haunted by them today. <laughs> Never mind. Gates are opening. Well, Burstall's behind us. Unfortunately, there was no moorings there whatsoever. So we're carrying on to the next moorings. It's near a marina, it's about a mile away. So we're just hoping we can get on there uh, just before the next lock, ironically. Uh, I think we're all locked out today. I think we've had enough, so we'll, we'll be uh, hoping to get a mooring there. Um, it's been a very long uh, day and eventful as well. Uh, never mind, all brings night time. There's Leicester Marina. Down there. sign you don't want to see <laughs> as we come out of Thermiston uh, lock there's uh, yeah there's a hidden weir right to the boats Batman so that's Thermiston lock done so now we really need to find some moorings we're all starting to feel a little bit tired hopefully it won't be long Well, we're moored up uh, just outside Thermiston uh, Lock. Uh, there's a long straight bit and we're on Armco, but it's bouncing down. Just over that way is uh, a large lake called King Leah's Lake. Very large, noisy factory over there. I've got no idea what it is, but looking on Google Earth, it's enormous. So our trip will carry on tomorrow, hopefully to the Trenton Mersey Canal. <sighs> I'm wet. Well, the rain stopped. And John's been very busy doing all the cooking, so I thought it was my turn. So I've cooked my mushroom curry for him. So I'll reheat that in a bit and take it round. It's about 10 to 6 now. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to reheat it about 6 o'clock. Uh, put it in a nice bowl, take some rice round, and that's their tea. It's about time. It was uh, Chugs's turn to take tea round to Australia. But that was our day. Uh, we're going to leave here tomorrow. Probably another early start. I think we've got something like a six and a half hour day, seven hour day tomorrow um, to get on the Trent and Mersey. That's the plan. But there's a thunderstorm warning for uh, about four o'clock tomorrow afternoon, I think. So hopefully we'll be moored up by then. So I'll see you tomorrow.